you know, one of the interesting things about uh, Tomb Raider 2 is it, it doesn't tell you a lot. I mean, the, the first Tomb Raider game actually gave you, f for the standards of games at the time, actually gave you quite a lot of information about, like, you know, like Natla and the Atlanteans and the Skion and all that kind of stuff. This game is very uh, light on stories and explanations and stuff. And actually, well, there's the, the cult's... Uh, insignia there, but I don't think they ever actually say in the game what they're called. And I've heard some fans uh, in more recent years refer to them as the Fiamma Nera, I think is what they're called, but I don't think they're ever called that actually in the... Oh, dog. Uh, I feel like, like shitting the dogs, I feel the same way as shitting the tigers, but I kind of feel like I can avoid so oh god that sound. Um I, I I can sort of avoid some of the tigers. I can't really avoid the dogs and th this this makes me sad because I like dogs. There's a guy up here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Yeah. I don't mind shooting it's interesting that is I do not mind shooting people at all and get oh in games, I really don't like shooting animals because you just know that you just know that these dogs—they they were probably aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, these dogs were probably treated really badly by their owners. They were bred to be nasty and and you know every pet I've ever had has been a good, loving animal because we treat them right and we treat them with love. Now I am thinking. I know you have to... Ah, oh, music. I know you have to go up there, but I'm thinking you have to go here first. You wouldn't believe I just played this on iPad not too long ago, would you? Yes, you press the button, don't you? Yeah, because, you know... Old school, old school game logic. Uh, you know, you press a button in one building and it opens up something and something else. I think when you get to the, um... There's a guy here, isn't there? There's a guy who turns up. No? Hmm. Um, I think when you get to the oil rig, it's like, you press a button in one area. And it, oh, sidestep. And it opens up, does it not open up uh, a hatch in the plane? So I don't understand how that makes sense. Like, if you've got the plane out somewhere, do you have to radio back to the oil rig to say, hey, we need to get into this part of the plane. Can you press the button on the oil rig so that it will open up the hatch? <laughs> Old school gaming logic, you've got to love it. Now, the thing about this, uh, was there anything up, else up here? No. Um, the thing about this level is, I always thought it kind of sounded like a golf sim. You know, because you've got all that uh, bird chirping in the background. It, it sounds like, it sounds like a golf sim. Oh, you motherfucker. I forgot about the fucking gap. And I've fucking... Uh, uh. Right. Fuck me. You know, I'm, I'm not sure how you're supposed to... How are you supposed to do let's plays? I mean, are you supposed to, uh, are you supposed to make it a flawless playthrough, or is it just supposed to be a case of this is me playing the game and I'm screwing up a lot, but meh, whatever. Oh, I nearly blasphemed. 
Bird chirps. Right. S slowly. Slowly. <laughs> uh, there's another awesome thing about old school games like the. the Stuff like that actually kind of makes sense to me. He's just floating there. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. That really annoyed me. The I remember the first time I played this, it really annoyed me the way she was always saying that. And then... Oh, God, that sound. Um, and then... Uh, when I I think when when I started playing Tomb Raider three, it actively annoyed me that she wasn't saying it because it just um, it, it was just one of those things I got really used to you know like just hearing that sound, uh, associating it with picking up items. It's this way, isn't it? Is it? I think it is. It better be. Oh, catch it. Yeah. Uh. There you go. There's more old school gaming logic. She should fall right through that. I'm sorry. I'm being overly cautious in my jumps, but I'd... I don't need to bore you, having already fallen one- <gasps> You motherfucker! Uh, well, there you go, old school uh, gaming logic. You know, I would have hit a checkpoint at the top if this was a PlayStation 3. Oh, I believe it's a PlayStation 4 all the crazy kids are excited about now. Oh my god, this cannot be entertaining for anyone. If I can be honest, I don't think I like the the Venice levels that much. I think the... Um, I actually um, was very negative about Tomb Raider 2 when I first played it because I thought the first game was so fantastic. The way you went into these areas that uh, um, felt old uh, and it felt like you were the first person going into these places in centuries. Like you could, despite the graphical limitations of the day, you could really feel the age in the places that you went into. And then along came this game, where you were running around in uh, um, the, the streets or the canals of Venice in and, and an oil rig, and it just really frustrated me. Uh, it didn't feel like Tomb Raider. And where I am now is... Uh, and I think I might have said this. Oh, swan dive. Uh, I think I might have said this in the Angel of Darkness video. Uh, but where I f how I feel about it now is that uh, this game and uh, the original game complement each other very nicely. You know, they're, they're, they're the same in many ways, but they're different in many ways. And uh, that, that really works. Um... I feel like after that, although I do like some of the games after this, I feel like they never really uh, tried to do that again, tried to do this idea of uh, tr trying new things and trying things that are different. Um, I felt like it was just um, 
give Lara some new moves and, and make the graphics a little a little prettier but um Well fuck me, somebody's shooting at me. Now, two things. One health because some fucker's shooting at me. And we need a flare because I th if I remember correctly Is it here? Oh, it's when you go over the wee waterfall bit, isn't it? There's a secret there, but there's another one up in this tunnel bit here. Yeah, there is. Okay, I think I think the audio might be crapping out again because I'm fairly certain we're getting the uh, oil rig uh, acoustics. That was something I liked about this game. That it, it uh, I think the silence in the the first game did work, but the the the, the atmospheric backgrounds worked really well. There's one very powerful uh, acoustic in. Uh, in the oil rig where it sounds it kind of sounds like a heartbeat and it's it's very it, it works very there it is now where was the third one Dear God, I've just realised I haven't saved yet. Have I saved yet? I should probably save. I'm a saveaholic. Oh, save. Now, if I could just remember where I'm supposed to go, that would be awesome. Yes, Tomb Raider 2 in which people run around in circles firing their gun randomly uh, in random directions although magically every bullet <laughs> it manages to hit Lara. I mean it must be that, um, can you go out this way? Uh -huh. it, it must be that same bullet that shot uh, Tara and Buffy. Seriously. That dude was aiming in completely the the, uh, uh, the wrong direction to. <sighs> God's sake, Jenny! It was fucking twelve years ago. Get over it. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think Buffy the Vampire Slayer stopped working for me the minute Tara hit the ground. Now, I, I know I just saved, but I should probably save again just because I'm about to uh, go into a new area. Right, um... Bum, bum, ba -dum. Yeah, oh yeah, let's just, oh shit, he's shooting at me. Kabam! 
The music stopped. Why is the music stopped? Oh god, the audio's not crapping out on us again, is it? Oh no, it's not. I've, I was underwater. Yeah. Oh, you're totally dead. Da 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 da. I'm fairly certain I've got that in my iPod somewhere. <laughs> I've probably got most of the the Tomb Raider soundtracks. On my oh, it has stopped us. Because <laughs> we have to get creepy music. Now there's a dude up here with a dog, and I think I think it's shotgun time. Come on, Lara, come on. You know you want to pick it up. Come on. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Is that for this one over here? Flippish switch in a basement, and I believe it opens up one of the grates uh, on the other side of the square. So, yeah. And I do believe there is a, another guy hanging around about here. Oh, hello! <sighs> Magnum clips. Uh -huh. Oh no, he dropped a key. Was that somewhere you could go through, or am I just... Well, it doesn't seem to be... See, that was always the way you could tell whether it was a wall or whether it was a door you could go through. If you angled the camera in a certain direction, you could basically just see right through it. Right. Oh, wow, that was lucky. I just missed that. <laughs> oh, man. I'll... I'll... No. Are you sure? I have a key. No. I have a key, don't I? Oh, that was for the other bit. I used it. Oh, fuck. Right. Oh, Matt, th this just does my tits in. You know, like, I get that uh, one of the new uh, innovations, if you want to call it that, was wading through water, but man, it just, it, 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 it was, it, it was rather annoying. There's a dude. I actually rather like it when our guns go out of unison. It's, they feel a bit more badass that way. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Right, where else do I have to go? Is that a t no, it's a boat. I 
They're actually pretty, uh, they're, they're pretty badass with those, with those gun, uh, with those bats. You know how to brain a lady. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I need to stop doing that. It's probably highly annoying. Oh, rat! Oh, it's still... Sidestep. Thank you. Hopefully that's not too dark on screen. If I remember correctly, you can actually... Oops. I'm sure you can jump up from here. God damn it. You know you want to. Come on. There you go. Secret. Aha. Magnum clips. Do you know what goes really nicely with a magnum clip? A magnum. go in there just yet. Want to go is it up here we go next? Tomb Raider theme. Uh, it's sort of um, in the first game, the, the you know that da 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 da. It's sort of um, it's got a kind of oh god, it's got a kind of um, energy to it, or a sort of um, first adventure kind of. What am I trying to say? There's there's more of a sort of melancholy element to the Tomb Raider theme in this this second game. If you notice there's more of a, a melancholy feeling to the Tomb Raider theme uh, in this game, whereas in the first game there was more of a sort of um, a first adventure kind of energy about it. Uh, here it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a year later and Lara's so jaded and world weary by everything that she's experienced. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, we'll go for one of these. Oh, I. Well, <clears throat> I could have done that better. I could have done that a lot better. Seriously? Seriously? Oh, there's nothing worse than an enemy that doesn't have anything for you. Where am I with the health? I'll use another one of those. Hopefully, uh, maybe I, um, there's that one last door I have to go through and then maybe, is it around this way? Oh, 
Oh no, that was the... No, it was the other way. I am in awe of Lara's ability to hold her breath. Oh god, the waiting. In the ranks of death you will find Oh yeah there is Oh, what the shit? Oh, that's bullshit! He's not even got a direct line of sight with me and he can shoot me? This is bullshit! That is bullshit. That's fucking bullshit, that. He, 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 he was down at the door. He, he couldn't, like, I couldn't see him. There was a wooden door between us. But this is the game where the enemies run around in circles, firing in random directions. And somehow the, the, the bullets just hit Lara. I mean, I like this game, but f I mean, shit like that just makes the game short age. <sighs> Did I just say I'm gonna save? Right. Um. So there's two ways to do this last section of the. Um, oh fuck me! So you can usually do that. And she just falls right into the boat. Uh. Right. So there's there's. Two ways to do this. Oh, there's water in the boat. You see that? There's water in the boat. Uh, there's the way the developers want you to do it, and then there's the way. God actual damn it. And I'm actually aiming in the wrong direction anyway. And then there's the, uh, the, the there's the slightly more easy way. So now we have to come round. Yeah, like this. Like this. We'll stick the boat there. Oh, there's a dude in there. Oh, shit. No. No. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Magnum clips! I think we should be fine with the health. We should be fine with the health. Right. So you do that, and then you come down this way. You go under the door. 
and then I believe the timer doesn't start. So, uh, you're not really... Yeah! I'm thinking Bertoli just likes doing everything the hard way. I mean, th this button is on one side of the canals, and then the door that opens it is on the other one. And you've got, uh, what is it, 12 rings of the bell to get your boat across to the doors and through the doors before they close again. Alright, let's do it the way you're meant to. The chiming in this bell actually uh, reminds me of, um, I, I recently listened to an audio uh, book uh, or a radio play version, whatever you want to call it, of uh, Shakespeare's Measure for Measure. It had a lot of bells ringing in it in that one. Well, if I must say, I was quite impressed with myself there. I, I have not done it that way in a very long time. I've always just used the uh, cheat. I was quite surprised by that actually, because that's not anywhere near as difficult as I remember it being when I was a teenager. Oh well.